YouTube. Today is about to be a special day. Uh, I'm about to install my first generator, or at least help do it. Uh, I've never done it before, so I'm excited to learn something new. Just wanted to share with you guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get to it. Let's go. YouTube. Thank y'all for clicking on the video. Thank y'all for all the support. But today we're gonna go over my generator install that I was able to be a part of. Uh, it's my first time doing it, first experience, but it was a great one. I learned a lot, and I'm just gonna share everything that I, I did, and uh, you know, give y'all a little insight on how it is to be an electrician apprentice. Once we got to the destination, my job was to make sure we got everything unloaded from the truck. Uh, we got our generator actually placed where it needed to be, so it was located to make sure everything was level, the ground was level, everything like that. So taking off the panel cover, um, and after I take off the panel cover, I need to knock out a two inch hole. So right on side of the panel, we're gonna be having our transfer switch. So I just wanted to make sure everything was gonna be lined up correctly there. Uh, so I'm getting my nipple, getting my lock nut, tightening everything, make sure it's correct. And um, getting ready to move on to the next thing, which is to drill me a pilot hole in my um, transfer switch. First, I got my quarter inch drill bit. Um, I wanted to go ahead and make me my pilot hole for that one. Uh, first, I had to make sure I got my measurements right so that the hole was in the correct place. After I do that, I get my green lead knockout kit and I knock it out half inch. Once I get the half inch, then I'm able to make me my two inch hole. Um, so that nipple that you guys saw me use um, will connect to this and it will be right on side of it. Um, so yeah, right now I'm cranking, cranking and cranking it. You know, I've used that Milwaukee one and you know I've been trying to convince my master electrician to get one, but he doesn't want to, but I know you guys see them triceps, you know, as I'm cranking that thing, but I'm just joking. But all in all, knock out my two inch hole. And once I do that, um, I give it to my journeyman and then we'll kind of line up everything on the wall. Right now, you about to see your boy bend some three quarter inch conduit. Uh, this conduit will be coming down from the transfer switch that you guys just saw me knock out that two inch hole to. I'm gonna be bending the three quarter inch and an inch and a quarter. I really enjoy the process of learning how to bend conduit. I really think it's a nice, neat art to learn and um uh, it's been a pretty good process for me to learn to do it i don't really do it too often but uh, as you guys see you know i have my have my measurements have my takeoff correctly uh make sure my level is lined up and uh yeah we just doing a 90 simple 90 but you always want to make sure you have that foot pressure on it that's something that i've been learning something i've been told by my master electrician and my journeyman uh, but it's all a work in progress your boy gonna get there but now we're about to go try to tackle this monster which is the inch and a quarter so let's get to it now we move into the inch and a quarter, making sure we get all our measurements correct for that one. If you guys didn't know, inch and a quarter takeoff is 11 inches, um, getting everything lined up with the bender. But when you work on inch and a quarter, man, the main focus and the main priority is to make sure you have as much foot pressure on this as possible. Uh, Cause if not, you guys will see the end result and what happened when I finished it. Uh, I did make this the short, so I'm not sure if you guys seen it or not, but you should check it out. But I'm bending it, I feel a lot more comfortable doing it. Uh, than I did the last time, but you know, foot pressure is the key when you bend in this type of pipe, or well, especially this size pipe. Um, but all in all, I felt like it was going good. My journeyman was happy and everything like that. Um, I needed to get my level, make sure everything was leveled out because this is the pipe that will be coming out from the transfer switch. Um, so I'm like, yeah, you know, everything looking good. I take my bend off, and there you have it. Your boy has a big old kink, so you know. Now I'm sad and depressed, but hey, my journeyman knocked it out and uh, we moved on to the next thing. So let's go. So moving to the next thing, um, right now I am getting my Allen wrenches and I am taking off the cover where all of the wires will be terminated for the generator. Uh, the goal for this is we're gonna have liquid tight coming from the EMT 90s that you guys saw me make. Uh, so we'll have liquid tight coming from those. And so I have to make me a three quarter inch hole. So that's the goal right now. So I got me a half inch hole saw. Um, after I get the half inch hole, so I make my hole, then I'll get me my three quarter inch uh, green lead knockout kit. Uh, so yeah, you know, all in all, everything was going great today. Uh, it was hot, but hey, it was all it was going good. So make sure everything is tight with that. Now I'm cranking it again, so I can make sure my three quarter inch hole is done perfectly and correct. Um, but yeah, boy, your boy triceps, you know, was working all day today. Um, so once I got all that knocked out, I knocked out this little plate. And um, yeah, now it's time to start digging. My main objective here uh, was to clear out this little area. Uh, this is where the liquid type will be coming down from the EMT conduit and will be going underground and then back up to the generator. So my goal was just to make sure that it was deep enough so that the liquid type would be underground. Uh, so that's basically what um, I had to do. It wasn't too bad. We had a few roots and um, a few rocks there, but I was able to take care of everything. Um, but right now, 
you're looking at an overview this is right before we got ready to take lunch so you see we have our 90s uh, we have our transfer switch in the panel the nipple everything looks pretty nice and neat to me um, but yeah now we're about to go to lunch and head back and uh, we'll get started when we come back so let's go after we got back from lunch your boy was feeling rejuvenated uh, my journeyman asked me to knock another two inch hole from under the transfer switch because we're gonna put another fit in there um, so right now I'm starting off I had already made my pilot hole um, starting off with the half inch knockout uh, once I finish the half inch then I'm able to knock out my two inch so that's basically what I'm working on right now um, the day was still going good uh, only thing we really had to do next was to pull out wire and things like that but I definitely need to knock this fitting out um, and like I said man I've been trying to convince my master electrician to get the Milwaukee one so I don't have to keep cranking my arms like that but hey you know I'm a new generation so you know they always like to say a little slick stuff but anyway as I'm getting everything tight fit um, I just want to do more of like a dry fit to kind of see how everything looked. I wanted to see if everything would be leveled um, and see where I needed to cut my pipe to make sure everything would line up perfectly. Um, but before I did that, um, my journeyman needed me to start pulling some wire, so that's what we start working on. Right now I got my insulated fish tape and I'm sending it through um, the three quarter inch conduit and I'm sending it to where my journeyman is located. He's going to tie off um, the wire on his end and basically I'm just going to pull it through. Um, but whenever you pull in the wire, you want to make sure you have enough length. So I was always taught to kind of take it to the top of the panel. Um, so that's basically what I'm doing right now, taking it to the top of the panel once I get it. It wasn't a hard pull at all, pretty easy. Everything lined up perfectly. Uh, I'm taking off my jet line that we had tied to it to pull it. And uh, right now I'm sending it through the inch and a quarter EMT. And uh, basically we'll do the same thing and make sure that we have enough slack and wiggle room. This one was a little tighter, but like I said, I still made sure I had enough length. and. Uh, now we're about to start terminating some wire, so moving on to the next thing, man, let's go. So after we got everything through the inch and a quarter conduit, right now I'm removing the tape from the head we made to send it through. Um, and yeah, we're gonna start terminating some of the wires. Um, right now I'm sending my ground wire up. And basically, you know, whenever we doing, working on the panels, you know, I, I, I really enjoy it. I'm really appreciative, you know, that my journeyman, you know, has taught me and has the confidence in me to allow me to work in some of the panels and things like that. Um, but yeah, man, you know, whenever I'm working the panels and working with the wires, you know, I feel like that's my time to shine, you know, and show a statement piece like, hey, this is this is something that Steven did. So, yeah. Um, so right now I'm laying in my ground wire. Um, and after I do that, we're going to be moving on to the neutral. Once we completed this job, you know, I went back and we talked to my journeyman and my master electrician. and They kind of explained to me whenever you are, you know, working in those transfer switches, you always want to remove your T1 fuse. And that was something. Um, that I didn't know at the time, but yeah, um, just just a little FYI, you know, remove that T1 fuse. Um, getting my neutral wire cut to the length it needs to be, and uh, getting my Allen wrenches, making sure it's loose so I'll be able to slide it right now. Getting my tape, making sure it is visible that you can see, hey, this is the neutral. You know, you never know who will come in after you, and um, it might not be an electrician, so they might not know it's a neutral, but hey, you know, you just want to make sure it's visible that you can see, hey, this is the neutral wire. Uh, so I wanted to tighten everything, make sure everything was nice and neat. Uh, but like I said, man, all in all, it was another great process, another good day. And, um, you know, I think it's, you know, great, you know, to keep building those reps, you know, getting that confidence to, you know, just knowing, hey, man, I can do this. You know, one day I'll be sent on a job to do my own uh, generator installation. So, so yeah, man, all in all, it was going good. Right now I'm putting in my hot wires. Um, I thought about making it, having like a little loop. You know for a little extra slack but i talked to my journey about it and he just told me i can just have him go straight up to it so basically that's what i did got everything cut got everything um, nice and neat so now i'm just tightening everything and um yeah making sure everything is is good to go so we won't have no loose connections and nothing like that but yeah all in all it's been going good so we're about to move on to the next thing we're gonna work on this liquid tight let's move on to that let's go right now i'm sliding my wire through the liquid tight to try to get it formed up so that i can connect it to the generator um, but I actually kind of did this a little backwards. I should have dry fitted it first without putting the wire in there um, So I can see how much length and how much slack or whatever I need to cut off um, But I actually did it a little backwards. So just kind of learned from my mistake. I wanted to point that out um, But yeah, I'm still trying to form everything up and as you guys see now I'm putting my fitting in uh, Once I put my fitting in now I'm trying to form it up with the wire already in there with it being liquid tight I was able to cut it it's very very slightly and bend it and it came right off but I wouldn't recommend it you don't want to accidentally nick the wire so just uh, wanted to point that out to you but 
tighten all my fittings up so that I can get ready to pull the wire through so that I can terminate it. Um, as I'm pulling it through, you know, I still want to make sure I try to keep that form and fit. But as you guys see, I think, I believe that I, I left a little bit too much slack in there. But my journeyman said, you know, I made it work. Everything was fine. But uh, I think I could have did a little better with it. Uh, but, you know, I'm still learning. Got a lot to learn. But still was confident in myself in doing it. I uh, didn't second guess myself. Uh, but right now, I'm getting my flathead and my clients and I'm tightening up my lock nut. So we don't have to worry about it moving or anything like that. Then I'm moving to get my channel locks to make sure it's tight on the outside. Um, so we won't have any water or anything being able to slide in there. So forming everything out, making sure it looks nice and neat. Did the best I could. And uh, now we're about to ter terminate the rest of these wires. So let's move to the next one. Let's go. Now we're moving to terminate these wires. My journeyman showed me a little trick uh, that I can use with my channel locks on my clients to pull the wire to strip it all the way out. Uh, so right now I'm cutting everything to where I need it to be. Um, this is my first time terminating wires to a generator, so it was new to me. Um, my journeyman explained to me where everything went and things like that. So, yeah, it was cool. It was cool to do, cool to learn, you know, always something new. And, uh, you know, I still tried to make sure everything was nice and neat, make sure my zip ties and everything was taken care of. And, you know, I thought it came out looking pretty nice. So what you guys think? Let me know, man. We're at the end of the video. Now it's time to clean up, picking up all of our trash, you know, everything that we accumulated throughout the day putting everything in the truck, loading it up. And uh, yeah, man, but all in all, man, I really do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed the process and me trying to explain everything and being as informative as I can. Um, it's been a journey, man. It's been a long journey and I'm, I'm happy to be able to document everything and just to see how far, you know, I've come. And hopefully this helps some other electrical apprentices out there, you know, in their future doing generators or something like that. But I hope you guys enjoy it. This is the finished product. Um, and I think everything came out nice, you know. We have our, our nipple, we have our transfer switch, we got our SPD, we have our 90s that we did. Um, and I think it all came out nice, man. We got our liquid tight connected to the generator. So thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. We out.